Bison coming off a huge emotional come from behind win last week against you and I was on the final drive and really three big wins over the last three weeks. So I think the question is, should the Bison be on upset alert this week as they get ready for the USD game this Saturday in the Fargo? I'm with us tonight for our Bison breakdown sake and the co-host of the Farmers Union Insurance Bison football pregame show. That is a mouthful. Alex Eaton, great yeah. to have you here, man. Uh, first off, before we get into will the Bison be looking at a letdown this week, how are you doing emotionally? I know your team just it, came in here and lost. It was lost. good to see them play so well. <laughs> I was stunned they put up the points they I was did, too. But it's always great to see the Bison win. So, I mean, it was sort of like, okay... And I was kind of happy for them because they played much better than I than I thought they would. So and a fantastic you. game. It was a, it was an absolutely great game. We've been treated. We've been spoiled here with football games with how great the football games have been. I mean, you talk about Montana on the national stage. That what a crazy game that was. Comes down to the last second, and then this one as well comes down to a hail mary at the end. That the I know. Bat away. What an incredible football game we were treated to on Saturday, and I hope. I hope we can get more incredible football games like that, but I hope maybe that incredibleness happens in the third quarter. And I think a lot of Bison fans would hope that it happens in the third <laughs> quarter, and then by the fourth quarter we can all just hang out and relax. Before we move on to USD, a couple things I want to talk about is, number one, I mean, uh, Shep, Darius Shepard, yeah, red shirt frosh, guy's got a bum shoulder, can only play a half, ends up with, what, two touchdown catches, three big catches? Yeah, three catches, and, both, and two of them were touchdowns at crucial points in that second half. I mean, they each one gave the Bison the lead. The second one gave the Bison the lead for for good obviously but what an incredible job by him to to stay concentrated and catch the football uh with that hurt ac joint he only had you know 75 percent mobility <laughs> that was oh man what a, i can't imagine playing with that kind of pain but then the other thing that we have to you know at least give props to and i'm sure you you notice this carson wentz threw both of those footballs incredibly well and he marched that team down converted two fourth downs on that final drive of the game you know that he said even afterwards i don't think a lot of the guys knew it was fourth down because <laughs> we were just out there going doing our two minute drill I, I i've been so impressed by carson I, you know, I was hoping to see the game slow down from this year and as you watch him play i really think it's starting to slow down he's throwing just as we call him dilfer dimes all, <laughs> all over the field as of late but you know one of the things that you sort of got to talk about is obviously the walter payton award which is essentially the heisman award for fcs and i think he's he's got to be the top guy for that isn't he well chris Kleiman is obviously one of his biggest fans he said he's the best player he's seen in <clears> fcs <throat> and i'm sure you know coach Kleiman has has seen enough around you know and has been around fcs level for a long time he can recognize a special talent so yeah you have to kind of take coach Kleiman's word for that uh carson wentz obviously is is playing fantastic he's had miscues that's the only thing i think that that you can go against carson with is he's fumbled the football a little bit more than you'd like to see um, you know, he got hurt in the Montana game because, uh, you know, he, he was trying to make something happen when it, something <clears throat> wasn't there. But you, you can't really fault the guy for trying to make a play happen. And, and, you know, obviously he had his first two interceptions of the year against Northern Iowa against, you know, a secondary where we're going to probably see some of those guys playing on Sundays next year in, in Northern Iowa's secondary. So I think, you know, you, you, Carson has room to improve. Don't get me wrong, but it's pretty hard to improve upon what he's already done. And, you know, he's really a guy that can stretch the field. To watch him spray the ball, yeah. I think, what, 11 guys caught the yeah. ball on Saturday. I got a minute left. Let's talk quickly about USD. I mean, last week they went down to South Dakota, uh, beat them 47-7. I think many people are going, okay, this is going to be, you know, not a very close game. But, again, should they be an upset alert coming off these three big wins? I think any time you, you go up against the North Dakota State Bison, if you're an opposing team, you are going to give them your best shot. I mean, we're still talking about the four-time defending national champions here. I know that we're into this season – and the Bison, you know, lost one, and they've shown that they have some some areas of weakness that other teams can exploit. But you're still playing the number, you know, their number two in the in the polls. But as far as I'm concerned, you're playing the defending champions. And if I'm going to go up against the defending champions, I'm going to prove what I'm worth. Yeah, and if you're USD, you're doing flea flickers and reverses yeah. and fake. I mean, who cares at this point? I, would, I think they're 0-2 in the conference, so, you know, give them yeah. what you got. Great work. It. Again, I want to invite you to watch Alex and I 1.30 p.m. this Saturday for the Farmers Union Insurance Bison football pregame show. Then 2.30 is kickoff from the Dome. Our outstanding team will bring you the entire game in HD. Stay with us. We come back. It's the top trenders of the day. There are some absolutely bizarre stories going on out there in the Valley today. Plus, we'll wrap things up at the end of the show. Stay with us. Much more coming up.